what's that face you're making? Wow. <laughs> That's Wait. the eggs in May face eggs right there. Eggs in May. Yeah. Heart candy season. Can yep. you explain what the conversation was before I turned the camera on? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> well, we tried. <laughs> uh, We're making eggs in May. Yeah. We're getting ready for next year. That's what it is. You know, it'll be nice and ready. May. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're doing um, peanut butter, pina colada, mango, and blue raspberry just because, I mean, your mom's been wanting to do the blue raspberry eggs for a while now. We never got a chance during Easter. And they just, they sold out so quick. Mm -hmm. And the peanut butter eggs, too, they were gone like, we only made those one time. I just can't believe it. I know. I know. We're, eggs we're year just, round. We're not having Christmas or Easter egg seasons anymore. It's just everything's all Busy. The time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you wanted some time off this summer or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hey man. It's great, but it's kind of strange. <laughs> it's different. It's yeah. definitely different. But that's what they want, right? Yeah. They can spice spice hard candy in February too. I'm like, what are we doing? Yeah. Like, this is... <laughs> Gotta give the people what they want. Give yeah. the people what they want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And what they want is the corn syrup. The corn syrup. Yeah. Just like plain old, because I right. mean, I could throw some in a bag. Just, just give them a bucket. We sell it by the bucket now. <laughs> 60 pounds in a spoon. Oh, that's a big oh, one. Oh, I probably should have weighed, weighed <laughs> that up first, but. At least this one's super easy where, um, all right, so it's a 36 pound batch and it's a 24 pound kettle. So mm -hmm. it's all in, in, you know, multipliers of 12. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of nice. I don't have to think. Oh, we're getting there. Yeah, these are really big globs you're throwing in. <laughs> it's nice and cold today, so I'm yeah. like. Really get a good scoop. Yeah. I don't want to go over on this one because I just saw the, the lever going up a little bit. Oh, you see it creeping? Mm-hmm. Right, we'll do a teeny one. Oh. Uh, yeah, all right, that'll be fine. It's the trickiest part. I'll pour it in all nice and slow, and then all of a sudden it'll just jump up to the top. I feel like it's going to do this time. Come on. Oh. Did it jump a little bit? Oh, nope, did you I not didn't move set it? it down. Oh. <laughs> There's probably like 10 pounds extra sugar in there right now. So you got to scoop it out? Let's get the scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that before? No. <laughs> never. You know, we tend to make more mistakes on camera. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I was like, you know, that's getting up to the top of the kettle there. <laughs> All right. Huh. Nobody's counting the scoops, right? Yeah. And for anybody wondering, because I know people always wonder, like, why aren't you wearing gloves for this part? Anytime we use sugar, we always boil it up to over 212 degrees anyway. So oh, this is, yeah, this, this is, is getting totally up food safe. <laughs> getting boiled anyway. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. There's Just a little bit of extra six sugar. Six or seven scoops. That's <laughs> it. Oh, boy. <sighs> it's fun making mistakes, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Now for the fun part. you got like a cart made out of a. I was just looking table. at it, yeah. <laughs> Some pretty advanced technology around here. Yeah. Did you guys make the vibration table? Uh, no. I don't know. Where'd you get this, Steve? From Paul. Oh, okay. From Paul. Did he make it? Uh, no. No? Well, they don't make them anymore, but... Oh, okay. They don't make them like they used to. Or so at all. <laughs> it's almost as old as my dad. <laughs> Got some little tails from the last batch. Yeah. I mean, what was the last batch? Chocolate buttercream. Oh, so okay. like, I don't think anybody would be upset about having chocolate <laughs> yeah. buttercream in there, but still, I'll get it out just in case. There's not going to be any chocolate on these eggs. So. Yeah, no, none at all. 
I might even have to print up a couple of extra trays. So I might have to bust open that last bag of cornstarch. So is that a ruler or just a piece of wood? I think it's just a piece of wood. Hmm. Yeah, we should totally get a yardstick, though. That's, <laughs> That's what idea. I thought it was a yardstick. Yeah. If we ever want to replace the 100-year-old piece of wood, that is, <laughs> you know. Wouldn't that rule? <laughs> what are you, what are you uh, looking for when you're looking? Oh, so when I'm looking underneath, it uh, really doesn't matter so much with the eggs, because the eggs are kind of tightly packed, but with like the chocolate drops and the creams, um, it's pretty much just those ones. The, uh, the molds come out like pretty much to, to the edge of the board. Mm -hmm. So you don't want them too close to the edge of the cornstarch because then like the cups can break mm -hmm. from getting pushed down too close to the plastic. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really just trying to make sure that everything's like pretty much centered. And then just pressing it just light enough to make an impression on the cornstarch. You don't want to push too deep or that can crush the cups too. Mm -hmm. And... I don't know if I should say it. Hmm. Voila. <laughs> and then they'll come out. When was the last time we got a voila out of your dad? I don't know. Do you ever miss shooting in the basement? Not at all. Do you remember the first time, or a couple of times we asked your dad, like, come on, you don't miss being in the house? And he's like, no. Not at all. No. Yeah. Yeah, he never liked being in that house. Yeah. Living in it, working in it. Yeah, I mean, None he spent his whole yeah. life in that house. Yeah. I know it's cool for the people who, who don't live in the house and don't work in the house. It's, like, unique. But if you live in the house and work in the house, you don't want to spend any time in that house. Yeah, yeah. It's understandable. I mean, even even me, like, just working there, I was like, oh, it's, like, such a cute thing, you know? Yeah. But it's just so small. Yeah, you bump not, into things. You run out of oh, space. Yeah. It's cluttered all the time. There's pipes to run into. When we first came over here, did right? Did I tell you I was like, I was like, we gotta hang a couple of pipes from the ceiling. Yeah. Like, it's just not gonna be the same if you're not bumping your head every. Yeah, we got nothing to duck under. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's another line I haven't heard in forever. You know, tight spaces ever bother you? <laughs> did, did a customer say that or something sometimes? No, no, that's what your dad would say all the time. Because oh, yeah. like we'd bump into something, he'd be like, ooh. <laughs> I'd seen uh, your mom would walk so fast down there that like she'd fly through the room mm -hmm. and like a kettle would fall like 30 seconds after she was already gone. <laughs> Little speed demon. But yeah, I mean, okay, so, so tell me this then. Um, I was talking to, to Jason about it over the weekend and uh, um, we couldn't remember when your dad was living in Fremont and then he moved to the village, right? Yep. So they were in Pompey, then they went to Fremont, and then they came to the village? Uh, yeah, I think so. And I mean, my, like my dad will probably know the timeline a little bit better than you. Yeah. Or better than me, I mean. Definitely better than me. <laughs> yeah. And me. It's just like, I swear he moved here when he was like nine-ish, but I'm like, I thought he lived out there. Either so way, like I know six, that he walked so. to school barefoot, uphill, both ways, <laughs> in the snow, and he was grateful. Yep, you know it. Do you think she can see us? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> She's pretty good at rhymes. <laughs> she rhymes all the time. She's a poet. Uh, she doesn't even know it. Oh, man, you switched up the rhyme. No, I, can't. I was, like, was going to say something about dimes, but... She knows how to rap. No cap. She stays strapped. She does? Well, with, she always does carry a Kubaton with her. With the rap lyrics, dude. <laughs> well, I felt a little trapped when he said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could definitely have a music career, man. Yeah. I love that, like, when it gets really low in the front, I'm like, I should have more corn starch right here. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch over here. Let's see, Let's see if I can reach. There's, like, a whole mountain right here. 
Well, I've only got nine more trays, so. <laughs> Should have plenty. Just check the temp. 229. Oh, you can see the temperature from here? Sure can. But that's the cool thing about the cream, too, is like it'll fly up to like the 200s, but then it really goes through like the 230s pretty slow. Hmm. Gives you enough time to print a few trays. And what, uh, what do you have to get up to? 240. Oh, okay. Now that Joe recalibrated the thermometer, we can actually go to the, the real set point. So it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I told you, but the cream's been beaten up in like 25 minutes recently, too, which is like really nice. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, just because it's getting cooked a little bit more, hmm. so oh, a little okay. less water in there. Hmm. Set, go. It's a race. Oh, my arm. Oh, I gotta go back to the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just go over here so I can pack this one more time. I keep hitting my hat on this stuff. Yeah, right? Wearing a forward hat, it kind of throws you off a little bit. Let's hit it again. Quit doing that. I didn't. That just looks like water. Touch it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'd probably feel too much different than just boiling yeah. water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Until you tried to wash it off, you're like, 240 ah. degrees. <laughs> it's a little hot. That's a smidge. And you guys have to be sure not to pour it fast because it splashes. It splashes right out onto the floor. Which, you know, it's it's at the biggest pain, but like, if you don't have to clean up, <laughs> yeah. would you rather not? Yeah, once you get a little taste, you can start turning a little bit faster. Alright, we're just going to adjust. Something about holding 60 pounds worth of cream and kettle while you're bent over looking underneath the thing. Mm -hmm. Is it easy? Is it? Yeah, exactly. That's proper lifting for him, right, Craig? Yes. Me. As long as you're putting all the weight on your back, knees, or neck, you're lower, good. Lower back or upper back? Either one, but preferably yeah. lower back. Yeah. As long as you're crooked and doing it. Yeah. 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 Yep. So you just round your back like a cat. Aha. Uh -huh. And lift with your knees. <laughs> In a jerk and twisting motion. If your back makes noise, dis disregard it. Yeah. Don't be a baby about it. Yeah. Ooh. I can't move my legs anymore. <laughs> First name me? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Good yeah. <laughs> Not anyone can do that. Back, man. <laughs> Looks good. Good work, man. Just dividing it in half. <sighs> yes, right. very precisely as half you can ish. tell by those. Let's just draw one more of these. There, that'll make a big difference. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make myself look really strong here. So after it's already beat for a little bit, you usually, do you have to wait or do you guys just wait because you got other stuff going on before uh, you take it out? I only have two cream bowls. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just can't do it until I get done with the first batch. But after it's done beating, you could theoretically just take it out immediately. Oh yeah, okay. like right away. Because oh, I know yeah. after you guys pour it, you guys usually will wait 20 minutes or so before you start beating it. Yeah, 25 minutes to let it cool off enough um, I guess that's just for the crystallization. There's just too much heat in there for it to crystallize at first. But right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Well, uh, dude, come on. You know everything about candy by this oh, point. Oh, absolutely. Is it really hard this time? No. Or is it like a normal amount of... Yeah, it's a normal amount. It's just kind of hard to get those first ones. Yeah. Separate it from the edge here. 
Do you have any tips and tricks for people who got their own cream beater at home? Mm, just buy it from us. It's, it's not worth the time. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, if you have a cream beater, I wouldn't, I seriously would never try to make cream at home because you'd have to like flip it back and forth on the table for like two hours. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what they used to do back in the day before they had this thing. Yeah. They would just have like a rake basically and just push it back and forth. Yeah, that would take for, well, I guess maybe you could do it like meringue and just beat it with like a, yeah, like, like a hand mixer or. If you're just doing it at home, in a yeah. small batch. You might be able to. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that leverage. Easy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're gonna do it, I'd say turn it off before you think it's done and watch how quick it moves. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that like when we stopped the cream beater that the cream didn't really like come all the way back into the center here. Yeah. So that's a good sign that it's like nice and done. It might still look a little yellow, but it'll turn white the longer it sits there. So how do you, or what happens if you take it out too soon and what happens if you let it beat too long? All right, so if you take it out too soon, you can see in the cross section here that it's like white all the way through. Yep. Um, so it'll be a little underdone there and look kind of a little like cornstarch still, mm. if it's underdone. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you go to drop it, it'll be really, really thin when you heat it back up. And mm. then the creams will never like fully form. Mm. And when you go to like handle them or cover them in, in uh, chocolate, they'll just like mush in your hands. Mm. And has that happened to you before? Maybe you take them off uh, too soon? We've, we've had that happen in the basement, mm -hmm. but um, not since then. The, the last one that I saw that happen to was like cherry creams way back oh, okay. in the day when we first got the Enrover. And um, if you do it too long, it's just a little harder to get out of the cream beater, but once you heat it back up to flavor it, it's back to normal okay. again. So it's just basically gotta... just more difficult, more effort. Yeah. Than it already is. Because it's already not <laughs> easy. I've, I've helped you take some out before, like a particular difficult batch. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you go to do it and it's like, this is like Real coming hard, out but... like relatively cleanly though. Like it's just coming out in like big chunks. chunks I feel yeah. like a lot of times it's a little bit, is it a little softer usually? Because I feel like a lot of times it's like almost like dripping off and you have to like kind of twist it to make sure that it stays on the, um, the I mean, I don't, I don't do it like that. That's, that was kind of like the old method. Hmm. Um, or is it because it's been like cooking longer because of the thermometer that got calibrated? Uh, I guess that could have something to do with it, but this is pretty normal. Yeah. I just remember the last time, and the last several times I've done it, um, you would like go to pick it up and it wasn't just like being like one, like just a bunch of big chunks. It was a little bit more liquid and it would be like kind of dripping as you're picking it up. Yeah. You know, I've, uh, so it's it might have been, been like this for a while, yeah. But it might have just been a while since I did this. A cream video or something? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it definitely used to be like that. Yeah. All right, so we got to get three quarters of a shot. Yeah, it's almost there. Like 0.4? Is that what it's looking like? It's kind of hard know. to tell looking down on it. 0.4 to 0.5, somewhere it's, around there. You've seen my half a shots, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's close. That's good. Oh, you can totally see that getting mixed right in. <laughs> is this all that we're doing? Is, is this a quarter batch? Yeah, this is a quarter batch. Oh, this is a small batch then. You know it. Are, and we're not, are you not coloring this? Cause it's just me, pina colada, so it's gonna probably be like white I'll put anyway. like the tiniest touch of yellow on there. Oh, okay. The tiniest that I can possibly do. Usually we have the the gel and I'll take like a stick and just like barely touch it in there, but we see how little of a drop we can get out of the bottle there. Careful. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like a whole drop. Let's see if we can cut it off. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see it. It's coming. Oh, we're close. Oh, boop. Oh, that's way too much. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe more? Just a little bit. I know, I know. It's crazy talk, but. Somebody needs to stop this man. All right. <laughs> it's going to be bright yellow. Watch. Uh oh, that. <laughs> Maybe it was too much. Oh, no. Come <laughs> lighten up for me. Well, Mango's going to be. This plus Super a tiny bit of red. Yellow. It's like orange, uh, orange, orange yellow. Orange yeah. and yellow. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little too uh, yeah. That's not too bad. It's pretty pale. Yeah, still, that's more like buttercream. Mm. 
Dang it. Why don't you stop me, Craig? Dang it, Bobby. You should have said, <laughs> that's not my cream. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, know you. you. <laughs> Are we dating ourselves, but <laughs> it, It's funny that that like becomes part of your vocabulary at a certain point, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's that white food coloring? <laughs> Do you guys have any white food color? I think we actually do. Because most things you guys try to color are white yeah. or clear. Yep. I'm just like, don't put too much in. <laughs> yeah, right, here goes nothing. Oh! What? I got the peanut butter egg still in the starch bin. And oh! <laughs> a little bit of shifting around to do. Yeah, I'm going to do it before I take it out of there. All right. The behind the scenes. <laughs> See, I did that with no hands. Pretty neat. Uh, people have asked for behind the scenes, but I'm like, behind the scenes of what? We show you everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, the only behind the scenes I guess we could do is uh, someone following me with a camera. That'd be kind of cool, though. <laughs> but then they'd ask for somebody to follow that person around with a camera. It's just a never-ending chain of videographers. I guess I could just hold up a, a mirror or something. <laughs> you know, at work. Yeah, so I feel like, uh, you know, like, I feel like Lofty Pursuits is like a pretty good example of like a channel where you could show the behind the scenes, but we're we just because like there's <laughs> there's no scenes here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you know, you hear exactly what's going on in the conversation. So I don't know. I feel like it's what are you gonna do behind the scenes of? <laughs> well, here's Joe eating lunch. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What don't we show? I just emptied out the dehumidifier. Oh. That might be exciting. Mm-hmm. It's so yellow. <laughs> kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. Yeah, it's not that yellow. No. You guys do lemon. Yeah. That's pretty yellow. Honestly, can you even tell that it's kind of yellow? <laughs> nah, it's like very pale. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going for. Or you guys do stuff. pineapple creams too, right? Yeah, pineapple's yeah. super yellow. Or, yeah. well, I don't know. I think the pineapple we do kind of a pale yellow too. Yeah. Like, you know, like a piece of pineapple or something. This is so much nicer than the peanut butter. Yeah. Just thinner? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see I had to like put a little bit of water into the peanut butter batch. Oh, did you? Yeah, just to thin it out. Very high tech. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> we should change our name to High Tech Candy. Craig, stop, you know I'm scared of cameras. I guess we probably could do like a behind the scenes to show like how I get into some of these weird positions <laughs> with the camera, the weird angles. It's a good thing you were into yoga, man. <laughs> Let's put a lot more of these ones. You think the people will be okay with that? I think they'll. Put think more so. in there? Yeah. The more candy, the more gooder. We actually have that on the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where I got the saying from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you came up with that yourself. Hmm. Well, this batch is going to be quick. Yeah. Instead of some of the other batches, you'll Gotta do like two that. scoops and you come back like, what? Yeah. I didn't take anything out. <laughs> that peanut butter batch took forever, man. <laughs> like buttercream to me. I feel like the pina colada should almost look a little like Luigi's ice or something. Is that, hmm. you remember that, the lemon ice? Nope. Oh, 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 Lu I was thinking Luigi like the video game character. Yeah. I was like, uh, was there a level where he had ice? You or? don't remember that? <laughs> but honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I think Luigi's ice is just straight up white. Found out in my adult years that they had blue ones. Like, where was what that? The when heck? I was growing up. Yeah, there was like what, pink and yellow, raspberry oh, and lemon yeah? or something like that. Seriously? I think so. I mean, I knew about the lemon one, but that's all we ever got. Italian ice. Italian ice. Italian ice. It's like a slightly healthier ice cream. <laughs> Still a lot of sugar. Maybe just a lot. Right. I feel like it's just like syrup and sugar, or uh, syrup and ice. Slowing down a little bit, getting to the end of the funnel here. Hey man, you better hurry up. We're paying you by the hour. Oh no, I'm gonna lose that second bucket of beer. 
Does the smell, can you smell this one through the mask? Or? I know a lot of people nope, can't smell really. stuff so great, but. I've never had a super strong sniffer. No super sniffing? No, my mom is you poor more guy. Of a super strong sniffer than me. This one just always reminds me of, of like summertime. Anything with coconut. Hmm. Kind of tropical. Yeah. Reminds me of my time on the beaches of Bahama. <laughs> of the Bahamas? On... <laughs> I've been there. Pirates of the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Max, don't stain your glove. Oh, hey, <laughs> all over the cap. <laughs> Did you find where the leak was then? Um, yeah, it looked like it probably just didn't get wiped up the last time we used it. Oh, OK. Yeah, but now it's all over the top. <laughs> yeah, I told you not to, not to uh, get it on your gloves. I'm a bad listener, OK? Those are the really expensive gloves. Well, that was like right after I was like, oh, yeah, I got it all over my gloves. Do, do, do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, looks like oh, there's wow. still a little bit on the outside there. Yeah, you guys cool don't, color, need right? any, uh, don't need any food coloring in this one. Mm, yeah, I'll, no, or else. Oh, set. wow, I can smell that already. Yeah, this one's pretty nice. I, like, I don't know. Blue raspberry was everybody's favorite flavor growing up, right? Is that just me? Like, right. if I saw candy that was blue raspberry, okay, it's only supposed to be two, but we're going to put another splash in there <gasps> just for fun. Because it's not blue enough. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the issue. Yeah. Look at this. This is like, what's the one that, like watermelon, I feel like it's kind of like that, where it looks like highlighter. Hmm. It's just such a nice blue. You gotta be careful here. I don't want to splash you. Hmm. That looks so cool. Yeah. It's like somebody unleashed a Tide Pod. <laughs> Tide Pods. Oh, that smells so good. You know it. Is this one that has to be taste tested? Yes. I thought it might. <laughs> is Max's point of view. Do, do, do. That's what it's like to be a candy maker. You don't I mean, even you need VR goggles. Yeah. <laughs> Just sit really close to the screen. <laughs> yeah. That's a natural color blue, right? I mean, at this point, it's more natural than that, like, super deep blue. You've never seen raspberries grow this color? <laughs> now, is it just me or does blue? Blue kind of seems like the rarest of like colors, right? Yeah, it's basically just blueberries and uh, I don't know what else. Maybe some I flowers. Think, yeah. Oh man, as far as like edible stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because even like black raspberries are like really dark purple. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any other blue fruit, fruit, veggies, anything like that. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I think we're good to go. Let's make it a little more. That looks so cool. <laughs> Is it extra blue on the camera? I think it's pretty close to yeah. what it's like in real life. Yeah, it, looks like it might be a little bit darker in real ice. life. It's like melted crayons or something. <laughs> so nice. I don't know if you just can't or focused on the camera, but I'm just like, I love that color. Mm -hmm. The mango too, I feel like is really cool. Yeah, good, good, good color. The last time we dropped the, uh, the mango creams, I had one of the trays up on the top shelf there. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to see which flavor was where. And like just putting your hand up over it, like your hand would like turn gold from the reflection. Huh. It's kind of neat. We found El Dorado. <laughs> I 
feel like I can feel the heat of the eggs on my hand. Yeah, you probably can. Like, just rising up. It's only like 150. Yeah. I wonder how quickly they cool. That's a good question. I bet all the ones, like the pina They cool at 20 good. miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> What's the conversion into knots on that? Yes. Let's see though. I mean, I'm sure that we couldn't, yeah. I bet you could pick that up, but I don't think. Well, I could, I don't know about you. See? Oh, wow, yeah. I don't think we could enrobe them. They're still a little warm, but. Yeah. They're soft enough. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Yeah, give me a round of applause. Okay. <laughs> I'll race you in there. I got so much starch on my camera right now. Do you? Yeah. Wow, it's got to be so heavy. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Indiana Jones doing that. Uh -huh. Yeah, like a sandbag to mm -hmm. put on there so the booby trap doesn't get you. Yeah, I always kind of wanted to be chased by a giant boulder. Just a dream of mine. Yeah. Put on the bucket list. Ever since I was a kid. You know what sounds like fun? That's why I was on the cross country team. Mm -hmm. So I can get really good at running. <laughs> Obviously, it worked. <laughs> Coming up. Smell that one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, one. <laughs> one shot of mango. Oh, oh no, it was the gum again. Mm, I smell it now. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I mean, my, my face is right over it, so. Mm. Yeah, I hope you smelled it. <laughs> Only one drop this time. <laughs> one shot of orange. Lady, I think you should use a measuring cup. <laughs> wow, that so smells this is like so good. Yellow coloring from the flavoring, a wow. lot of orange, and a tiny bit of red. The flavoring on this one doesn't really show up. It just like looks yellow in the bottle. Yeah. Like we have, we have another one that's kind of like that too. Can we see all this mixed up? That's kind of cool. It's like it was, a sun or something, yeah. Yeah, it was like very marbled hmm. when you mix it up. It's my favorite part when it comes up from the from the depths. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, I'm working here. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Wow. I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Yeah. Sorry, There's bud. no coming back from that. No. Unless no. I say, no, you. Uh, I'm going to the channel realm or? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it didn't come out too bad. I thought it was going to be a little too dark at first. Yeah, as long as it's different from the pina colada. I don't know. That <laughs> pina colada is pretty yellow. Yeah. This is like golden. Yeah. Holding on to what's golden. Make sure I scrape it all down. Mm -hmm. I didn't really put enough in there, you know. It's <laughs> barely two shots. Of everything. Just a little bit of yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Got any guess? Um, How hot does it look? 
157. Oh, I, yeah. I swear I didn't even look at it. Did that show up on the camera? Because like that's, 158. That's close. Yeah. yeah. I swear, like I said, 157, and then I saw it. I was like, what? <laughs> well, I was just thinking because earlier when I was saying that the blue raspberry, I can feel the heat coming off, and yep. you said 150, yeah. and then I was thinking it's a little bit warmer over here. So, good logic. I use my powers of deduction to figure, figure that out. out. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Batman? Uh, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I just like. <sighs> I don't know. I got this criminal in my hands. <laughs> like, what's going on? Let's go. Where is he? I don't know. Dang it. <laughs> well, on your way. Sorry for stopping you. <laughs> Sorry, bad guy. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, all right. Get back to beating up that old lady now. <laughs> wow, well, that's coming out real nice. So easy. nice. Well, you know, 157. <laughs> what do they call me? Oh, yeah, you didn't get any of the peanut butter, but, like, I was fighting the peanut butter. It's actually burning my knuckles a little bit. Uh, if only I had more room to move, maneuver this camera. <laughs> I just run into the walls. <laughs> Yeah, that last one, I was like, wow, quick breaks, man. <laughs> yeah, I can still feel the heat coming off the mango. These mangoes are on fire. <laughs> oh, no. No. Wait, do I not have enough? Boop. Okay, I think we're good. These mango eggs. <laughs> they kind of look like mangoes, though, right? <laughs> yeah. They're roundish. Oh, yeah, you're right. Right? Now we just have to cover them in like a tough, leathery skin. <laughs> Perfect. on schedule. <laughs> I'm telling you, every time I gotta stop myself from being like, oh yeah. <laughs> it just looks like egg yolks. <laughs> <laughs> it totally does. <laughs> you guys making omelets? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to do like Oh, I, like we were talking about the egg flavor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, for those who uh, weren't there when Max and I were talking off camera, <laughs> um, we were looking, what is it, the Weber catalog Weber, of like yeah. all the flavors? There's Weber, so Weber, many it might flavors. be a soft D. Yeah, there's so many flavors though. Yeah, like it's a novella of flavors. Yeah. There's like pages and pages. I'm like, what? We've only got like, how many from Weber? Like six? <laughs> I think it's less than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most of our flavors are from Moran. Might just be the blue raspberry right now. Moran, we'll never leave you, I swear. <laughs> hey, if you want to sponsor us. Uh... Yeah. If you got any egg yolk flavors around. <laughs> don't send them our way. <laughs> I don't know how that would do in candy. You know, I mean, I was thinking like, okay, you could make like a mock fried egg, candied bacon. Uh, uh, could you do tater tot candy? I don't know, only one way to find out. Hash brown. The next day. I don't know if we mentioned earlier in the video, but this is only a quarter batch of the pina colada just because the peanut butter eggs sell, they sold so much that we had to do three quarters batch for that. And I'm like, well, we'll just do quarter batch for pina colada. So if you want pina colada, I'd order sooner rather than later. Is this the first time we've ever done eggs after Easter? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how neat is that? And the, the mango, blue raspberry, and pina colada are all new egg flavors, too. The peanut butter one is an OG, though. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't pay attention. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, we've never done them in these flavors? No. Um, oh. It's just peanut butter, marshmallow, raspberry, 
and I'm probably thinking, you know, probably some other one that I don't remember at the moment. I don't want to get too close. I've already, I already have starch all over my camera. <laughs> and I can only get it worse. Is that camera like uh, got a dust rating or anything like that? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? It's like, I know it's water. Yes, we'll find out. I know it's water resistant. Yeah. And I've, I mean, I've had it in starch room many, many times. Yeah. So that's good enough. Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> with the cream eggs mm -hmm. they're big and easy <laughs> the, the marshmallow eggs they're a little bit harder to work with because it's so soft they're soft and fluffy and they can deform easily so i'm just going to do a test run at first okay you know just to check the temper of the chocolate because it's the first time today we've used it mm -hmm. and uh want to make sure it's not going to bloom or anything like that. Yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah. Can you tell about how they look now if they'll bloom or do you have to wait? Nope. Just gotta wait. Gotta wait. All right. Just a little bit. I'll pop them in the fridge. It'll only take a couple minutes. Okay. Then I'll start running the rest of them. Five minutes later. So yeah, these were the trial trial runs, and the first one I just wanted to make sure it wasn't blooming. The chocolate wasn't blooming, and I noticed that the bottom it's not terrible, but they're a little bit thin, mm -hmm. um, and they can crush when the when they're being wrapped. Mm. So I ran another through just to see if I could get the bottom a little oh, thicker. Oh yeah, that looks thicker, yeah. Yeah. So we adjusted, you know, if we have to, we'll adjust the temperature for blooming and then we adjust the bottom and make sure that we get a nice thick bottom so that they don't mm. crack or break. So do you guys look for anything else when you're doing a test run or just those two things? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously, there's other stuff that pops up once in a while, but nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, but those like are the, the two, two main components. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have to change the bottom, like depending on what you're covering, or is it? Yeah. Mostly yeah, the because if this is regular creams, they're so small that I guess they're it makes them a little bit tougher, you right. know. But this is a larger surface area that can, especially because it's being individually wrapped, mm -hmm. it can be crushed easily. So we have to be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Thanks, Forrest. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a flap, a steel flap under there, and this screw brings it up or down. And you can see how far it comes out when you bring it up. It's just the chocolate's puddling up on top now. And then I step it back a little bit, and there it goes. Wow, oh, it's like magic. Magic. <laughs> so I'll try that. That should work. Maybe I'll bring it up a tiny bit. But yeah, the more, the more that's up, and it, the more of a larger puddle in front, it pushes stuff off to the side. Hmm. So is there any time that you would want to do that? Or no, not really? Um, if we have stuff that we, we just put on there like brittle, mm -hmm. um, big pieces, it's okay to have a big puddle. Um, heavy stuff, uh, like cookies, you can do that with. Um, and then it ensures that they're covered better. Mm. But if it's really light stuff, It'll get pushed all over the place, and then you're taking a knife and pushing them around on the exit belt. Right. And uh, it, it can be a little bit messy. Mm. So we'd like to go through the whole thing, have it go through without having to touch it at the end. Mm. And then uh, it'll look prettier. Give this a shot.
Yeah, those look good. Yeah. They're not touching, they're not uh, touching each other, they're nice and spaced out. <laughs> so with this one since it comes like four wide it, this one would be like pretty much impossible to like run continuously then right like the other one unless you yeah. have another person yeah I, I never even bother i think max can run some stuff continuously on here yeah um i never even try because i'll just mess it up <laughs> so yeah slow and steady wins the race that mm -hmm. one you can run continuously on yeah, um, just because it's too wide, so yeah. you don't have to load it up that much. Yeah, yeah. And this one's still way faster. Yeah. Even though you don't run it continuously, it's still way faster than the other one. Interesting. Where do I start, Craig? That's good. I think so. Okay. Just reach out to the force, Max. <laughs> May the force be with you. And also Dance with you. Today. <laughs> Not really as me. Yo, today, duh. <laughs> Yeah, Star Wars Day. Where are we at as a society where they're like, yeah, this is Star Wars Day. <laughs> Just like March 10th. Mm. You know what day that is? Mm. It's Mario Day. Oh. March 10th, M-A-R-1-0. Oh, okay. Right? I never, uh, never knew that. I'm full of extremely useful knowledge. Knocking some of the tails off there. I'm just gonna set it up here. I'm just gonna set it up here. When we were doing the creams like last week, I thought they were kind of cool. They looked a little bit like Earth or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, because like the blue and the, the clouds or whatever. Yeah, wow. You need to infuse some green in there somewhere. Right. Where's that Sharpie? <laughs> Incredibly blue. Right. And usually, like, they don't, like, the dust doesn't come off them like that easy. But yeah, that looks like melted Crayolas. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a little shake. The weird shape of the eggs, they, uh, makes it kind of hard to roll them around. Mm. I wonder what happened to that guy. <laughs> right, give it another little shake here. Shake it one more time just to see if there's any that really need a little brush in. Yep. <laughs> hmm. No one can say you're not thorough enough. Yeah. <laughs> check. Check again. Check one more time. Quadruple check. Oh. <laughs> got a little bit on your arm there. Oh, a little bit. I, I got a little bit on my camera too. Craig, you're aging very rapidly. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I think I got, eh, I got some on the line, <laughs> not too bad. Oh, why'd you get a white camera? <laughs> Hurry up, Max. No. You're not my mom. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, congratulations to you and my dad. <laughs> Blue raspberries go marching in. <laughs> I don't know, how's that song go? I, you nailed it, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn off the shaker a little bit, ski there. The shaker? Yeah, yeah. the shaker and the mover. Just look at what Look at all those switches. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's why I got into the candy biz. <laughs> I should all probably the power. put more eggs on there, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Oh. Can he do it before the peel move? <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're good at reminders, Craig. 
<laughs> Dude, I can hear that all the way over here. Whew. What are you talking about? That was your heartbeat. I mean... <laughs> Look at him go. Can you even see me moving on the camera? When I'm so I do proud that? of you, son. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> And it's funny because you're actually like, what, two months older than me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two whole months. That's right. I've seen parts of the world you've never seen. I've seen a lot of candy in my day. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I'd recommend it. Every time I just point the camera down, you're like, oh, right. <laughs> it's just, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> I know this is it. Viewers have said that this gives them anxiety, so I'm like, <laughs> welcome to your nightmare, viewers. <laughs> There's no pause button on this video. <laughs> you That's can try, uh, but you can't pause. No, pause. <laughs> well, how's that joke go with, it's like something about a bear walking into a bar, and he like takes a little bit of time to introduce himself, and the bartender goes, why the long pause, or why the big pause? Uh, it's like, oh, I was born with him. You know my favorite bar joke? Is it? Okay, just tell me. A man walks into a bar and he says, ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that one. How about man walks into a bar, he asks for a glass of H2O. Second man walks into a bar, he asks for a glass of H2O too. Needless to say, second man's not still with us. <laughs> Oh. Almost. I bunched it up. <laughs> what do you think? Can we, do we have to take that out of Kara's paycheck or do you think that's all right? We'll see if uh, my dad notices. Oh, okay. Hey, Fingers this paper crossed. looks awful scrunched up, no. Max. <laughs> Kara's only getting one bucket of beer this week. <laughs> that's what she usually gets, right? When she doesn't have she to owe them two. beer? Um, I don't know. I thought she got a, a promotion there. So she's up to like one and a half at least. <laughs> I mean, you just, you can't survive on one bucket. Heard my reach. All right. I think the peel will be okay for a little bit here. In and out, all day. I just gotta see where it's, it's getting close or not. All right, that was like such a quick run. Yeah. We should have come in even later. Time flies when you're having fun. Isn't that the truth? So what do you think, Craig? Is the chocolate just right? Yeah. Can you tell? Yep. Well, no, like seriously, let me quiz you. Like, what are, what are we looking for in the chocolate? Like, how, how can you tell if it's a good temper? Uh, it's a shiny and how, not bloomed. How can you tell, like, before it's done solidifying? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah? Oh, okay. The temperature. Temperature is a good one. I'm looking to see, like, how quick it takes to dry. Oh, yeah. The thickness, the flow. Come on, don't lie, man. You were just telling me all this like yesterday. Yeah. Hey, man, I, I know how to edit candy videos. I don't know how to make it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I guess I was just like, it's the first time I ever thought about it. I was like, oh, I'm kind of yeah. curious. I wonder. I don't yeah. think we've ever really talked about that either, though. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite comments is when people say like, my mom's, uh, you know, talking about something on her computer and then people are like, oh, Craig, why don't you just write the software for her? You know how to do stuff like that, right? Like, well, I know how to edit videos. I don't know how to make software. <laughs> Why not, man? You got all this time. <laughs> My computer knowledge is basically limited to, uh, can you edit this video? Yeah. Yes. Adobe only. <laughs> yeah. Can you get rid of this virus? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got a big magnet. That might help. <laughs> magnet! Oh! When we were kids, we had uh, all these magnets because, you know, it was the 90s. 
Science was a little bit more rudimentary back then. <laughs> so we were playing with magnets and uh, with the projector TV, so we'd always take it and put it near the TV to like make all the, the colors all wavy and stuff. Yeah. Totally wrecked the family TV. <laughs> Good times. Looked cool though. I remember uh, back in the day growing up, we had a 27 inch huge, it was like a huge, no, huge TV. Didn't. It was like super deep TV. It's like, you know, yeah. the opposite of thin, I guess is what you could say. Or a thick TV. <laughs> uh, but it was like 27 inches. And now everyone has like 50 inches. Dude, and it's and like a 50 inch TV is like maybe 400 70. bucks. Like yeah, I, oh I, yeah, they're so cheap. Yeah, I have a 32 inch TV in my room that I got for like just over 100. Are you and serious? It's, yeah, and it's like, it's like, you know, it's like that, yeah. like, you know, that's as thin as a normal TV is, but. Well, and the quality is like 10 times better. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause like back then we're like, wow, 27 inches. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> and it was, it was so big. It's like, all right, we got to have somebody else. We had to have somebody else move it. And there was actually handles on the side of it so that you. To lift it up. Yeah, that's how heavy it was. I mean, I believe it. Wow, what a guy. He got that just Whoa. for you, Max. Oh, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Reminds me of orange juice. Yeah. Yeah, like my whole, like would, you wouldn't call that orange, right? Yeah. But like. It's a golden yellow. Yeah. Did you ever see My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Many times. You remember what her last name is? Somethingopolis. I thought it was like Porticullis or something. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I Is that what it is? Okay. Apparently I haven't seen it that many times. <laughs> But she's like, yeah, it means orange. Like the one you eat, not, not like the color. <laughs> well, I only know that because I just saw it like a couple of nights ago. <laughs> yeah. We just bounced it across the edge there. Because mm? we just bounced it across the edge there because like sometimes they got like little tails sticking out and stuff. Mm. Where like all these little pieces come from, mm -hmm. breaks it off so you don't have to do it later. I saw you look, and I know you were wondering. Yeah, so. yeah. A lot of people, um, especially when they hear them like being poured out onto here, they they think that the candy is hard because I oh. it sounds harder than it really is, but it's it's still very squishy and delicate. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have shown you with the blue raspberry that that piece I cut off, mm -hmm. super soft. Actually, you can see that it. Kind of even stuck a little bit from being so soft. Oh yeah, so that that's why you cut it off. Um, I just cut it off because like here I can do it with this one when we get in there. Um, when they go to foil it, it's like really tight to the egg shape. Mm. So if you even have like a little bit jutting out, that makes it kind of tough for them. Mm. Oh, what a guy! Just well, thinking yeah, no. other people, huh? <laughs> I'm mostly thinking of candy. <laughs> but yeah, want to make it more difficult for somebody further down the line if you can do something about it now, right? Right. One more time. One more time. All right, that should be good. One more sweet there. And let's get ready for the fastest run ever. <laughs> I can't find the piece that we were showing off today. Uh, that one? Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good eye. Gotta do this eye, one mate. too, though. So. You can make a whole new egg from that. He's grushy. Yeah, should yeah, I save it for you, Craig? that again? It was not in focus. Hold on, it's still not oh, there. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty squishy. Yeah. It looks kind of like egg yolk. We, yeah, we were saying that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It, it tastes totally absolutely does. nothing like that, though. I hope. Candy. I feel like that'd be really cool to like do a candy fried egg and then like mm -hmm. eat it and be like, mango. Mango. The heck? Oh no, I think you got chocolate on the egg that's gonna get covered in chocolate. Throw it away. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Just do a little, little half a squeeze there.
nice, looking pretty good. I really like seeing how the, the chocolate get blown off by the blower. Yeah. It looks cool. I like it too when like you can kind of tell. I guess the shaker on this one's a little close, but like the blur will leave a pattern on them sometimes. Yeah. I'm watching it go over the shaker and seeing it just like, like get all a, smoothed out. Like a ripple? Yeah. I kind of like that. Speaking of, it's a little, just a smidge. All right. Smidge redo. I don't know. Do you think it really matters? What, if the peel, if the peel hits the ground? Yeah. Does it really matter, Craigie? No, I don't think the health. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say a healthcare provider, but that's not <laughs> it. Health inspector. They definitely don't care. <laughs> health something. I don't think the health teacher would care. <laughs> Mr. Carney's coming in. <laughs> I had Mr. Sutterby. In seventh. Well, grade. in middle school, who was it again? Mr. Carney. Carney. Uh, I had, yeah. That's his name? Yep, Mr. Oh. Carney. I don't remember that. I had uh, Zoe Black in high school. Yep. It's pretty cool. She was another one. Yeah. He's our running coach, man. Yep. I do remember so I that. Like, we're, in the, we're in the clear here. The last ones. Woo! I that was a pretty down. fast run. Took forever. I know. Trying to work me to death over here, Craig? Trying. <laughs> well, I Unsuccessfully. I don't know, I'm pretty close. Hey, let's go to a bar later and get some H2O Two. as well. <laughs> I'll be careful with that one. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> You can do it. <sighs> Woo! The next day. So Kara's here to correct my mistake because a couple days ago is when I shot these eggs and then I was like, ah, oh, I didn't get the wrapping. So Kara is here to, to help me correct my mistake. Light green. I had to pull her out of shipping. Yep. Because you were just it's like, very special. I, I was like, uh, so when will you be able to do these? Like five. I was like, all right, well, we're going to need a little bit before five. <laughs> Five o'clock, I'm so, free. Yeah, so she's helped me out with just getting a couple. I'll show you guys how it's yeah. done. These are the milk peanut butter eggs. These are the ones that uh, I think we don't have yet, she said. Mm -hmm. So I just get like a, I'm, I'm not sitting here like for five minutes <laughs> doing that. But yeah, for the video, I'm just mm -hmm. taking a little slower. But anyways, we normally just like to get the excess off because, you know, you don't want to wrap it and then it just breaks in mm -hmm. the foil. Mm -hmm. You could rip the foil too. Mm -hmm. So just put it in the middle. But yeah, I just, I like to smooth them after. Mm -hmm. I wrap a few at a time. Like normally I would wrap like a whole tray's worth of eggs, then smooth them out with the, with the towel, and then I weigh them and label them after. Mm -hmm. Instead of stopping between each egg and doing yeah. it, but. <laughs> oh, let me do that one again. The chocolate's not showing. You're still in shipping mode. Yeah. And if people are wondering where Karen is, she still works here. It's just her day off today. Yep. Because <laughs> I know if people don't see her for two videos in a row, they'll start coming up with conspiracy yeah. theories about her not working here. <laughs> conspiracy theories. <laughs> Remember like that one time people did that with Max? Like yeah. there was two videos, like one video he just was sick and the yeah. other video was his day off. Yeah, he was sick or something. Yeah, and then people were like, what, does he still work there? We fired him. We Yeah, we actually had to make an entire video based I around those that. comments of him reading. It, it was, was him reading the comments of <laughs> guessing what they, happened. The things they come up with too. And they're like, I heard Karen say that she was did she leaving. The or She probably quit too. Yeah. Like, no, she just went home. <laughs> it was the end of the day for her. Uh, it's it's extra funny for us because we know that she's like, yeah, she just left for the day. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd have a like a tribute video of like yeah. the day that Karen leaves for good. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, she's been uh, here yeah. almost as long as we've been alive. Oh, we're, we're like six months old when Karen started, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
All right, so I'll just finish with this wrapped enough. And these aren't going to look perfect. They're going to be like a little bit wrinkly, but mm -hmm. their hand nobody right. really cares. <laughs> I feel like nobody really looks at that. They're yeah. just going to eat it. I mean, I also don't know that it's that possible. Even like no. with the, the mass-produced ones like from Wegmans. the egg. Yeah. These are creams, after all. Mm -hmm. I can't really do it with my other hand. Hmm. It's too awkward. Have you tried? I, I've had to do it like when my thumb starts to hurt. <laughs> but I'm better at righty. I mean, it's possible. It's just awkward using my left. I'm not used to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not ambidextrous. Let's see. All right, so it's one ounce. Now, technically, we don't have to write it on there, but I'll just do it for the video. <laughs> and it's already got the date on there, so we don't have to do... Wait, it should anyway. Yeah. Oh, these ones don't. The ones she prints out on her printer do now. But. Oh, yeah. But these ones will have to uh, do it best by with the price gun thing. Mm -hmm. One down. So 1.2. So you just subtract like 0.2? Yeah, these kind of fluctuate, so mm -hmm. it weighs at least 1.2 for mm -hmm. sure. And does it only count to even ounces on these scales? No. Oh, okay. Because I think I've only ever seen like 1.2 or 1.4. No, sometimes it'll say 1.3. Oh. oh. So, one. The more you know, <laughs> you're gonna, that knowledge is going to really come in handy for you. I'm sure. Yeah, when people are doing all this at home. No, I meant for you. Right. For me, too. For you. When I'm doing this at home. Yeah, you do it at home a lot. <laughs> yeah. Good to learn from the pro. Pro weigher over here. <laughs> 20522. That's oh, what that's I was looking nice... for because it was blank underneath it before. So. Mm -hmm. It's a nice satisfying sound. Yeah. That's what we aim for here. <laughs> Do you like using the price gun? It's all right. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that exciting. I'd rather the labels already have the Best Buy date on them. But... Yeah. So that the can sometimes have them like when mom prints them out. Prints them out. Well, we're gonna go through the whole roll. Because we ordered these and had them made. Mm. Once we're done with a roll, mm -hmm. then she'll just start printing them herself. Oh, okay. As with any label, we're just going to use them up and then she'll print them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're done. That's that's the whole process of the eggs. Wow, good work, yeah. Tara. Thanks, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Broken wow. open. He did it. Should I break them off? Yeah. People like seeing the break? Yeah. Woo! That's a nice little crunch. I'm just checking to see if it's uniform across. Mm. Not too bad on the bottom. That smells so much like pina colada. <laughs> and there we go. Look at that, right in the middle. Mm. I guess I have to eat more of the mango. <laughs> just because you don't want to eat a bunch. That's so much. <laughs> that's still kind of a lot, even just a quarter of the egg. Yeah. <laughs> just a little slice off the edge there. This one's going to be like fruit punch from having all the other ones on it. <laughs> but, all right. Here goes nothing. Again. Again. There's a lot of nothing going today. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. Can What's that one already? already? No, yeah, but I can see yeah, it. It's yeah. very vibrant. <laughs> oh, man. It's... Yeah, that's killer. Like I was saying yesterday when we were making it, like blue raspberry was always my favorite flavor growing up. And um, when we first got it, too, I was like, okay. For hard candy, that'd be pretty good, but like, I thought it'd be kind of a weird mix of chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. It's um, it's like a little twist on like raspberry and chocolate, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Is it like a slightly different though? Because we've had like raspberry. It's a totally different yeah. flavor. Oh yeah. But it's just like it's kind of like that sort of, it hits that spot in like the back of my throat, mm. like the same as like raspberry, hmm. but just tastes more blue. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> All right, let's go for the pina next. Smells like summer. All right, the blue raspberry like kind of took a 
little longer. You had to like wait for the chocolate to melt before like the blue raspberry really mixed in there. Mm -hmm. The pina, like as soon as it's in my mouth, like my whole nose, my mouth, like the back of my throat, it's all filled with like that coconutty sort of mm -hmm. flavor, you know. Mm -hmm. And I love coconut and chocolate. So that's what coconut and pineapple. That's a peanut mm -hmm. butter, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. So it's kind of like a sweeter, a sweeter coconutty flavor, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But they like hint to. Do, can you taste much of the pineapple? Yeah, it's in there. Mm -hmm. But Mostly I'm just coconut. a sucker for coconut. Yeah. <laughs> like that's just. I love coconut and chocolate. Speaking of mango. suckers, you're definitely a sucker for mango. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> if I, how how could you tell? Did I let on or? <laughs> okay. Yep. You smell it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that the one bad. you're gonna eat the whole egg? <laughs> Maybe off camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I'll have another little slice of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah this for people at home, Max uh, labeled them all before he cut them. Yeah, he wanted to make <laughs> sure he knew which ones they were. I, which is silly. If I knew that we were. Cutting it okay, open. even if I didn't yeah. know that we were gonna break it open, I should have known. Like, yeah. I'm well, I mean, like when you when before you open them, like they all look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So it would have been kind of funny to just like take a bite and be like, "Can you tell the difference?" <laughs> what if That's we super good? Hmm. It kind of reminds me of like old. Did you ever have those like the jawbreakers that we'd get? No, I I had, saw a lot of people like, like the huge ones. They were like this big. Yeah. Like Ed, Ed and Eddie. You're going to, like, choke here. eating that. I couldn't even get the thing in my mouth. I know. Like, we used to, like, get a couple of layers down and see if we could get it in our mouth, mm -hmm. but I was always scared that you'd, like, get it stuck in your teeth. Yeah. But, yeah, that's killer. If you like mango. <laughs> okay, so mango, I think that'd be great. Yeah, mango, mango's yeah. a good flavor. And pina colada. Oh, yeah. Okay, pina colada. Yeah. Oh, what about a uh, blue raspberry? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, definitely right, blue, blue raspberry. raspberry. Okay. And, and we need one more. Well, I know it's... Not new, but peanut butter's a favorite. Peanut butter's yeah. my favorite too. Yeah. Who is that? Uh, so peanut butter too. All right, I think we can pull this off. This Freeze! Good. Candy police, you're under arrest. 